All right, welcome back. Today we are in, again, the Fly-By-Wire A320 Neo. Same call sign as last time, Delta 8147. We are going from Orlando to Boston. Airtime is around two hours and 30 minutes. Our cruising altitude for today is 39,000 feet. So we are currently getting defueled. Jetway's already been connected. And we're gonna get started with the um, aircraft startup now. We're gonna turn on batteries one and two. Both well, showing good voltages, external power is heading on. We're gonna speed run this so I don't have to make any cuts. Cruise supply, bang, bang, bang. Auto, navs, maybe. Seatbelts are going on, these are going on auto. Those are no smoking. Emergencies are being armed. All right, fuel pumps are gonna start going. 3005. Perfect. We are scheduled for 120 passengers, 5,236 pounds of cargo. So we'll get that set. And board and starting, gonna take about 10 minutes. We got a PDC for today. So we're gonna look Squawk 3012. We're gonna have to remember that. We cleared the Faith 3 departure V up transition. Climb via SID. We're expecting flight level 390 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 124.8. We're expecting 17 right for departure and we'll contact 118.45 for a taxi. We're gonna set our squawk to three, zero, one, and two. And we are now gonna start working on the MCDU. Atsu, ALC menu, initialization, and we're gonna get data. Initialization, we're gonna get that. We're also gonna request wins. Request, request, request. Flight plan, we're expecting one seven right. Departure, one seven right. Phase three, VF transition, insert. We're gonna get our Boston destination set up, KBOSS, Arrival, ILS 4 right, Roebuck 3 arrival, Goshi via JFK transition, bang. We can put this back to ARC, VORs are going to head on, strains are good, APU we are going to put on, we are going to get our radio set up now, tower is going to be set to active, approach is going to be set to standby, hey I am controlling here, <laughs> we can put the block fuel in, 16.616.6 set. We have a wind component of plus 31, plus 031. Perfect. The baggage and catering can now go away since they are done loading. APU bleed is going on. We will disconnect ground power now. And we can now tell ground power that he is good to leave. Look at our pushback op. Looking great in there. Boarding completed. We need to set this to 185 for our heading. That'll be our initial runway heading. And then we will have to turn it left to... 154, then 140 until we get vectors. Our top cleared altitude is 7,000, so we will set that now. 7,000. The jet bridge can now go away. We are going to get our zero fuel weight and everything set in there. Perfect. We are going to be flaps one for this departure. V1 of 136, VR of 136, V2 of 137. Parking brake is set. Takeoff speeds and thrusts are set. Windows are closed, and the beacon we are putting on now. Beacon is yep. on. We will now request a push and start. We're going to lock the door. Orlando Ground, Delta 8147 with information Sierra. We're requesting a push and start. Delta 8147, thank you Sierra. Push start your discretion. Call ready for taxi. Push start our own discretion. We'll call you for taxi. 8147. Elapsed timer starts now. Parking brake has come off. Head on backwards. Engine 2 is available. We'll click on engine 1. We might as well just go on arm spoilers. Flaps are going to one. Oh my terrain glitch. <laughs> Holy over there. Look at that. And stop. Master switch coming off and bleed is coming off. Runway turn off on. Nose is on taxi. After start checklist. <laughs> Anti ice is, three, is yeah. good. E cam is good. One. Trim will set. Rudder trim is neutral. We'll complete that. Repeat that again. That's uh, JetBlue 985. There we go. Here's Flight control one. check. Good. Good. Good, good, and rudders left and right, showing good. Flap setting is good, radar pred and everything is on. Engine mode selection is good, and the ECAM is showing no blue except for a cabin check. Orlando Tower, Delta 8147, we are ready for taxi. Delta 8147, runway 17 right, taxi via Echo 5, Echo, Golf, Hotel 1. 17 right via Echo 5, Echo Golf, Hotel 1. All right, we know what takeoff runway we are at. TCAS has already been set, and packs 1 and 2 are showing good. Hydraulics test now. Perfect. <laughs> Orlando 
Overlander Tower. Delta 8147, we are ready for departure for 17 right. Delta 8147, our nav to Cape, wind 110 at 6, runway 17 right, clear for takeoff. Our nav Cape, and we are clear for takeoff on 17 right, Delta 8147. All right, everything looks good. Nothing to our left. Here we go, baby. We are going to track 185, then 154, then 140. And we will pause up here on the runway real quick to make sure we got everything good. And we will get a quick stop. All right. Here we go. Looking for 50. Showing consistent, no engine failure, to Toga we go. Takeoff inhibit is working, perfect. Mm. V1, and rotate. Don't know why that clicked on. But we are off. Maintaining 185. I'm going to look for about 230. We Fox will track. now track 154. Delta 8741, contact departure. Have a good day. We'll contact departure. 8147, thanks for the help. Is it? Give me a climb, check here. Orlando departure Delta 8147 through 2400, RNF to Cape. Delta 8147, Orlando departure, your radar contact. Turn left heading 090, climb maintain 16000. 090 and 16000, 8147. 0 9 or 0 now. And 16,000 feet. Takeoff and runway is coming off. Strobes are going back to auto. Delta. And landing lights are going I'm off. Sorry. Yeah, November 8th. Retract flaps. We're ignoring the fact that I forgot to retract flaps and my gear. I was too focused okay, on heading. You want 47 turn left heading 360. Left 360, 8147. So we Clear will turn one, now. Resume all navigation. Three six zero. So what they're trying to do right now is get us to Buffy. We're gonna have that ready to direct to it here in a second. Delta eighty one forty seven. Turn left. Direct Buffy. Turn left. Direct Buffy. Eighty one forty seven. All right. To Juliet Heavy at and we will now direct to Buffy. Delta 8147, you departed my airspace to the north. Radar service terminates. Wish your rise is approved. You have a good flight. Over to the dark side, Unicom 8147. Thanks for all your help. See ya. Soup. <laughs> that is just what happens on Vansom. You always have to do a soup. We are good. We're going to maintain Buffy. Or we're going to maintain 16,000 for now until we get out of Buffy. And then from there, we will climb up to... Um, our altitude, our cruising altitude of 39,000 feet. All right, we have hit our cruising altitude. Seatbelt signs are going to come off. We are gonna sit here, cruise time of an hour and 40 minutes. Sit back, relax, we're gonna enjoy this flight. And I'll get back to you when we reach the top of our descent. Yeah. Boston Center, good day, Delta 8147, flight level 390 from the south. Delta 8147, Boston Center, good afternoon, radar contact, cross news, at a maintain level 270.
We will cross Ruse and can we get that altitude again? We got gargled. Delta 8147, that's News, N-E-W-E-S, cross News at level 270. We will cross News at 270, 8147. Seatbelts are going on. It's going to be pretty hard to get there, but we will try our best. Having News and Ruse on the same arrival is pretty difficult to understand. So we will head down to flight level 270, hopefully hitting that by News. I doubt we're going to hit that in time. We could expedite it. We gotta enter destination data, don't we? 1428. Evan, we are just crossing uh, Merritt. Perfect. Uh, By fact, we have to be 230. Boston Center, Delta 8147. Are we good to descend to flight level 230 to meet the effects altitude re restriction? Delta 8147, clear direct Pro V and descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival runway 4 right. Boston altimeter 29er, 9er, 9er. That way you can stay a little higher for longer if you want to. Got it. Well, we'll direct. Pro V and we'll descend via the Robux 2 or 3 arrival. I gotta check. Uh, the Robux 3 arrival, 8147. Thanks. And that's for runway 4 right as well. Runway 4 right. Appreciate it. 4 right? Yes, 4 right. Oh, okay. On the VATSIM 8, it it's only showing arrivals for 4 left, but I will fix that up. Thank you. I'm looking at it and it has ILS 4 right and visual approach 4 left, but uh, actually, it's, it doesn't seem like it has the right letters there. Okay, I'll get that updated. Thanks. Nope, all good. We'll expect four right. 8147, thank you. By Pro V, we need to be at around 11,000 at 260. And we'll start our turn now down to 210. We can start Vision slowing up number now. One, two, Victor, since Juliet, we have a good amount of time to do it. We're going to drop speed down to 260 three, four, so that four, we can just have it in time for Roebuck. Actually, we should probably keep the speed increase for now so that we can um, not screw up his traffic. We know what we're doing, right? Sure, we do. Probably not, but we're going to hope for the best. We are now going to descend down to 17,000 right there. We're going to go down to 16,000 now. While we're here, we're just going to try and get it down to 12,000. But we are going to have to reduce our speed to 260 by Robux, so we'll, hit, we'll do 260 after banking. Slight right turn. Turn landing systems on while we're here. 2-9-9-9-9-er for our Q and H. Barrel rough is good. Those are good. We already checked our minimums. Auto brake has not been selected. Auto brakes are going on too low. And the end selection is good. We are now going down to 11,000. As soon as we pass this, we're going to pull to Juliet, throttle to 220. Delta 8147 at Goshi, cleared ILS, runway 4 right approach. Verify you have Sierra. At Goshi, we're cleared for the 4 right approach, and we do have Sierra, 8147. Pull back to 20, and we are cleared for the approach. Down to 9,000. ATC is putting in the work right now. I gotta love that, dude. He's doing great. My heart's beating because with ATC and a busy airport, I don't feel like doing a go-around. I don't feel like screwing up and getting outed to everyone. So we're gonna do our best. We are 12,000. Looking okay. Trying to get down to 9,000. It says we should hit it in time. See, not too far away from the airport. Now that we're coming 11,000, we're landing lights are going to come on. And we are starting Number our left turn Delta, to hit Sophie. Approved, to runway three, three, as we three. have just got down to 10,000. Okay, Gosh, look at these clouds. There is a ceiling here, so we're going to check the meter real quick. Broken clouds, 7,000. Broken clouds, 22,000. Yep, that's about right. We are leveling off at 9,000, which is great. Well, we are going to now three, drop six, down to 7,000. As soon as we get past over, this. Um, Usually it's right when we get in the middle is when I will start it. Following. So to, down uh, there to 7,000. Passing through the ceiling sure. right now will get us down to 6,000. Now that we're here, runway turnoff's coming on, nose lights going to take off, just so we can get those out of the way. We are through 8,000. We will mar uh, we will match good on the altitude restrictions. We're gonna just slowly inch this back. Let it very slowly reduce speeds. We've captured the ILS landing system, which is nice, to 10. Flaps one is going to come up. Or come down, sorry. We're gonna go 4,000 for Winnie. 1,700 is what we're looking for. But I also have to slowly reduce speeds. That's the only issue. Come on, get down for me, buddy. Get down, get down, get down. I don't feel like going missed today. 4,700 as we pass by Winnie. Can't see much with the clouds right now. Flaps two. We can't see anything right now. Delta 8147, the wind 360 at 8 gust 1 niner. Runway 4 right, clear the land. Clear land, four right, Delta 8147. All right, hopefully we can make this guy happy. Yes, we're getting lower than we want. That's perfect. I'd rather be low so that we can reduce speeds in time. 
our VAP performance. Approach. VAP is 127. We'll go 135. Yes, we're doing great now. Perfect. Thank you. Oops. One nine five. Gear is going to come down. Spoilers are going to be armed. We're going to check the cabin. Good. Right. November Heaven's three, good. We're going to go six, no Bravo, blue for Bravo, now. Verify you have boss information here. Expect runway four right. Uh, affirmative here. Yeah, that's right, right here. We hit everything that we need. We're going to just crank back the speed now about 135. Jetway 122 for the descent at your discretion. The New York approach is offline. Radio service terminated. Frequency change approved. Good flight. We can go flaps three. And flaps four. Perfect. Everything looks good so far. Landing. Yep, we're showing no blue. Perfect. Here we go. In for our landing. Back up. We're going to wait for this to line up. United 1238 Boston Center. Good afternoon. Clear to Chicago Airport. Syracuse to departure. And as filed, maintain 4,000. Squawk 3410. And once we are on the ground on 4 right, we will exit left. United 1238. And approach mode is Expect on. Expect at single, perfect. At three, it says. Looking good. Meanwhile, I'm going to go to my charts and open up what I need. Yep, everything looks good. Perfect. Exit left when able. Looking good. We'll look at 130 for our landing. Delta flight is 137, request X. American 1732 descend via the J-Fund to arrival, runway 4 right, Boston altimeter again, 2 9 er 9 er 9 er Descending via the J-Fund arrival, Boston altimeter, 2 9 er 9 er 9 er American 1732. Looking good. American 1732, going to be landing runway 4 right. Let us go right, I'll see any aircraft down there. Uh, Delta 2737, request taxi. Delta 2737, thanks. Taxi up to spot 7, that's the end of taxiway Kilo, and when you get there, contact Boston Tower 128.8 for further. Uh, Roger, taxi spot 7, it's spot 7, 128.8. Uh, Delta 2737, thanks. Uh, Boston Tower? 766 Center. Uh, go ahead, if you want to uh, tag uh, Boston Tower. I'll see one. Strength 766 affirmative. When you're done the push, ready to taxi. Looking Contact good. Boston Tower 128.8. No need to call until you're ready to taxi. Alright, 128.8, and we'll call the taxi. Air Canada 3067, the Moncton Center is closed. Looking good. Radar service terminated. Frequency change Reduced through. Reduced to 130. 500. 500's called out. Crane activity right there. Boston Center, good uh, afternoon. Air Canada 840. 400. And we will take autopilot off here shortly. Air Canada 840 Boston Center, good afternoon. Squawk 2472, right radar contact. Oh, those winds. Number 7, Bravo Mike, same Mach number. Here we go. Thanks, American 1285, maintain Mach 0 0.80 or less. 10, 5. There we go. Put it in reverse. Spoilers, good. Number six, Alpha Bravo, heavy, cleared into the Boston Bravo airspace via straight in runway four right. 
I straight in four right, six JB. Boston Center, good afternoon, Blackbird, zero seven seven. See if we can take up on that one there, head southwest 1645, Boston Center, right. good afternoon. Let's Radar contact to maintain 1 1000, Syracuse altimeter is 3014. Thanks, who else called? Blackbird 077 on Boston. Perfect. A little heavier, but that's okay. We're starting to float above our um, touchdown zone. Perfect. See you in a bit. Delta 8147, monitor Boston, Tower 128.8. 28.8147, thanks for all the help. Welcome, Southwest 16 of We have a Sierra. We have our PDC. Uh, all right. Uh, Lighting lights number. off. Forgot about that. Taxi on. We Spoilers up, Blackbird, flaps uh, going to one. Back onto Echo is approved. Device ready for taxi. And we're holding short of Until four Echo left. Will Delta eighty one forty seven. You can contact Boston Ground one two one point nine. Two one decimal nine or eighty one forty seven. Thank you. Boston Ground at 8147, we are on November, holding short 15 right, looking for taxi to gate Bravo 12. And uh, Delta 8147 Ground, stay by. Delta 8147 Boston Ground, cross from 15 right at November, Bravo Kilo to the ramp. We're cross 15 right via November, Bravo Kilo to the ramp, 8147. Charlie Gates, uh, your discretion via Alpha, have a good one. Alright, copy. Looks like Charlie Gates for Alright, and there's our gate right up here. Hard right. There it is. Oops, sorry. Over a little. Oopsie daisies. Oh, we should have just stayed over there. In November 3, my code tell to make the taxi shorter. Would you like four left at Charlie Intersection for departure? Here we are. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to have to sit here for a second. I was just about to call you. I've got a slight issue with my uh, throttle quadrant. Uh, can I call you back when I'm ready to go? Yeah, that's fine. And uh, just let me know here if you want full length or four left at Charlie when you're ready. Will do. Uh, thank you. Three minutes off. Perfect. I believe that's good. Parking brake has been set. Everything here is going to go off. If you bleed, it's coming on. And engines are shutting down. Engine two and one. We are going to go ahead and turn beacons off. We are going to get ground power, baggage, catering, and the jet bridge over here. Looks like there is no jet bridge to be had at this gate for some reason, but whatever. This, none of my services work currently. <laughs> none of my services are working. Excellent oh, power uh, is available, so we'll connect to it. Sierra, and yeah, and we, we will start our Charlie. shutoff process. Seatbelt's coming up. off. Everything's Four coming off here. Perfect. Four Fuel left. pumps are coming off now. We are now deboarding. Looks like everything is good. That is going to finish it for me. So thank you very much for watching. Got any recommendations on what aircraft, what routes I should fly, any scenery, anything? Leave it down in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.